Hello and welcome to the third video of Google Ads Mastery course. Before we jump into the platform and we create our first campaigns, this is the last theoretical video, but it's a very, very important video to understand the fundamentals of account hierarchy and why there is a concept of ad sets in Google Ads. However, I quickly want to highlight these three um, things which a lot of people have asked in the comments which is one some people said they are unable to see the expert mode in the previous video even if you are not just continue with the smart campaign if you don't see the expert mode finish the campaign and then you'll be in your ad account and you can create a new campaign which we will create so for now don't worry about it just create the finish the smart campaign the second thing is a lot of people said they are uh, continuously being asked for the payment method without which they are not able to create the ad account in that case as well uh, as i mentioned before it's worth it to add a credit card and um, not spend anything it's okay it'll just have a hold of some funds which is okay um, this is what google ads wants so there's no um, way to escape it however in certain cases if you just skip that step restart again create another account then in certain cases sometimes you get a chance to uh, create the account without payment method the third thing a lot of people asked is it's asking for a website you don't have a website just put anything there www.google.com or any website you don't have to own that website so that should be okay so going back to the original topic of this video when you have google ads account it, you, there is a particular structure which google has defined and everybody needs to follow and it's actually for the benefit of the users now you have to understand the structure is such that each google ads account can have multiple campaigns as many campaigns as you want okay for example you can have a search campaign you can have display campaign you can have a video campaign in your account you can have multiple search campaigns two search campaigns three display campaigns four video campaigns and each campaign basically will have multiple ad groups it needs to have at least one ad group but it can have multiple ad groups as well and each ad group has an ad so basically the structure is ad account has a campaign has an ad group has an ad now why this is the case is because of this overall you can think of account structure as this in google ads account overall at the account level you can control some things like billing like a payment method you can add a payment method at the account level any campaign will use that payment method right you can control access you can control access for example if you are working for an agency your ad account there are other people who need access to the ad account you can control that you also can provide access at ad account level you cannot say okay i want to uh, add this user but he needs to have access to only one this campaign or that campaign it doesn't work that way a user is always added at an account level similarly there are conversion pixels which we will know what they mean but it's just for an idea and there are other integrations for example you want to integrate google analytics with your google ads and things like that tag manager or any other tool so they all are done at account level and there are goals you set your goals for example if for my website for my ad account senator viran ads i will create goals once for all okay pay how many people purchase my course how many people purchase my template how many people purchase my membership because these are as a business important for me so i'll just create them once at an account level and in a campaign i can use any of those so you just have to do it once so that for every campaign you don't have to create the goal you already created what is important for your business so things like that all of this can be done at account level then we have campaigns and um, as the name signifies you have a campaign for example you have a search campaign you have a video campaign you have a video campaign for summer campaign you have a let's say a black friday campaign a video black friday campaign so similarly as an advertiser you will have multiple campaigns so that's why um, you can create multiple campaigns in your google ads account and at campaign level you basically control control the dates what is the start date and end date of this campaign what how much budget do you want to spend on this particular campaign what is the campaign objective because as an advertiser you can have multiple objectives for example i can have a campaign for uh, generating traffic to my website i can have a campaign for people to know that there is an offer on my website or we are launching we have launched a new course and there can be other objectives for example i want to uh, sell one particular template or one particular course and the type at campaign level you basically control that what type of campaign it is because one thing to understand is in google ads one campaign can have only one format which means if you create a campaign it can be either search it can be either display it can be either video you cannot have a campaign where you have search ads as well you have video ads as well or display ads as well there are certain automated campaigns which we will discuss about later but as a campaign type like search display video uh, performance max you can only choose one type for each campaign and of course you choose things like location okay this campaign needs to be targeted in uae worldwide three countries whatever this particular area 
So these things are controlled at campaign level. At ad group level, we control things like bidding. Uh, you add ads in uh, ad groups. For example, if you are working for Philips, you have men's trimmers and women's trimmers. You can have two different ad groups in your campaign. In one, you just add the men's trimmer ads. In one, you add the women's trimmer ads and you target them one to the women, one to men. So that's like the control you have. Otherwise, you had to create two different campaigns. And for search ads, similarly, you have different kind of keywords you can have in one ad group and uh, you control bidding, which I'll explain to you later what, what is the significance significance of ad groups why does google have this kind of account structure but it's very very important to understand once for all this is how a uh, search campaign structure looks this is how, how other all types of campaign structure looks the only difference is there is google ads account google ads account there's campaigns campaigns if you're creating a search campaign within your campaign you will have ad groups other types of campaigns you will have ad groups again and there will be ads in ad group all other types of campaigns and even in search campaign ad groups will have ads the only difference is in search campaigns your ad groups will have keywords and in other uh, types of campaigns your ad groups have targeting because in search campaigns you target keywords somebody searching for white hat that's what you want to target. You want to show your ad because you sell white hats. You want to show your ads there. So you're targeting basically your ad is triggered by a keyword. We will explain this in detail. This is just for you to understand at this point. But in other ad groups, in a video ad, it's the targeting. So you say, okay, my ad should be visible to women from age 25 to 45. So this is a basically a targeting criteria. So that's the only difference. In search campaigns, the ad groups have keywords. In other types of campaigns, the ad groups have targeting. That's the only difference, okay? So I hope this is clear. Now that you understand um, basics of the account structure, you just have to remember and get familiar with it. Now we will jump into a very important topic, which is why ad groups? Why did Google have ad groups within campaigns? Why cannot we have campaigns and add all our ads there? The most three important reasons why we have ad groups are these. You can show relevant ads, you can manage multiple landing pages and ad rank and manage effective bidding and costs. I will explain them one by one, but just for you to understand, this structure is followed everywhere. Even if in meta ads, you create campaigns, there is something called ad sets and here it's called ad groups even in tiktok it's it's the same it's the same structure all the platforms it's it's the same um structure let's talk about show relevant ads okay if i go to google and i search for rhinoplasty dubai right and i see this ad from ash clinic and then i search for facelift surgery dubai and i see this ad from ash okay now they have a search campaign and they have they are targeting both rhinoplasty Dubai and facelift surgery Dubai keyword, right? Whenever somebody searches for these two keywords, they show the ad. Now, if they didn't have options of ad groups, they had all the ads in the same campaign. When somebody search for rhinoplasty, this ad will show, right? But in some cases, somebody is searching for facelift surgery, this ad will again show. It doesn't make sense. Now here, if you see, there is high relevance. There is rhinoplasty, I'm looking for rhinoplasty and they're showing me ads, no shaping Dubai, rhinoplasty Dubai. This is done using ad groups because their search campaign will have two ad groups. One for nose shaping keywords, rhinoplasty Dubai, nose shaping Dubai, nose shaping surgery, nose shaping clinics. And they have one more ad group in their campaign, which will be targeting facelift keywords like facelift surgery Dubai, facelift operation, facelift best doctors, best doctors for facelift. What it helps them to do is basically they exist aggregate they use ad groups to kind of theme together similar keywords and have an ad which is relevant to the keywords in that particular ad group to make it more clear for example if you go to my website which is senator we run ads now on my website primarily we sell courses which is these courses digital marketing courses right and we also have digital products we sell uh, like templates for example briefing template for agencies digital marketing project tracker uh, strategy and media plan kit right now if I'm creating a search campaign and I put all the keywords that somebody looking for a Google ad score somebody looking for a media plan template they should see my ad and now what do I write in the ad either my best option is I write an ad which talks about hi senator we run ads we sell courses as well as templates visit our store 
Now, with ad groups, what I can do is in my search campaign, I can have two different ad groups. One, I'll have about courses. If somebody is looking for digital marketing courses, Google Ads courses, ta 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 ta. Then, what you do is you show them ad, and I can customize an ad which is specific to courses. We have the best digital marketing courses, Google Ads, Meta Ads, ta 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 ta, right? And I can have one more ad group where I club template related keywords. This ad group should uh, have keywords like digital marketing template, media plan template, uh, briefing template. And the ad in this ad group, I can have a dedicated ad which talks just about templates. Now, that is one benefit. When we do our first search campaign, it will be super clear. But I'm just giving you an idea because it's very, very important for you to get familiar with the idea at this point. The second benefit is manage multiple uh, pages and add rank. Now, what I wanted to, I'll give you the same example again. Now, if you see here, for example, uh, when somebody was looking for Renoplasty Dubai, they're showing this ad and somebody was looking for Facelift Dubai. It's the same advertiser and uh, the same website. But now the benefit is what they can do is for this ad group, anybody looking for rhinoplasty, ta 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 ta, they can use a dedicated landing page, which is ash.com rhinoplasty, where they are talking just about rhinoplasty. And in this ad group, they use a la different landing page, which is this ash.com facelift, which talks about facelift. So if somebody is searching for facelift, they see this relevant ad, they click on it, they go to the landing page, which exactly talks about facelift only. Because in one ad group, you can only use one landing page, which means the benefit of using ad groups is you can have multiple ad groups and with their own keywords, with their own ads, as well as their landing page. For example, if I was running one search campaign for promoting both courses and digital products. Now, if somebody is looking for, let's say, digital media courses, what landing page do I use? I have to use homepage. Now you'll say, okay, use courses. But in the same ad group, if I have uh, the keywords related to templates as well, now somebody looking for templates, they see my ad, they click on the ad, they come here. It's not a good user experience. In turn, what I can do is I can have two different ad groups as we discussed before and on the ad related to ad group which has course related uh, keywords. If people click on that, they come to courses. I'll use this as landing page, senatorviranads.com store. And I'll have another ad group for templates if somebody uh, is looking for template related keywords I show them a dedicated ad from that ad group and in that ad group I will use this as the landing page so which is a very very good thing for user experience because we will have relevant landing pages the second point is ad rank it improves ad rank as well there is a concept in Google Ads called ad rank which means I sell courses right there might be another institute in Dubai who sell courses as well and somebody looking for Google Ads course I am bidding on that keyword the other institute is bidding on that keyword as well and they're showing ads and I'm showing ads as well. Now how Google determines that which is better ad among us is basically on the landing page is that keyword mentioned there? Does the landing page actually talk about it? If two advertisers are bidding for the same keyword, if somebody's ad rank is better, they sometimes in most cases pay less for the click. So it actually helps you to uh, save budgets as well. So that's basically what ad rank means. We'll know about it in detail as well, but this is just to give you an idea. The third point is it helps you to manage effective bidding and costs. Now, this is a very, very important point to understand. For example, now here, uh, the same clinic, uh, let's take the example of same clinic. Now, for example, let's say uh, they for nose reshaping, they charge 15,000 dirhams average on and uh, facelift lifts surgeries for example they charge 9000 dirhams on average which means nose reshaping is a more expensive product or service they are selling now when they are setting up the target cap of let's say for example uh, they create campaign and google asks them okay how much do you want to spend for each lead you get nose reshaping they'll be willing to pay 120 dirhams for each lead and for a uh, facelift, they'll be only willing to pay 70 dirhams because they calculate, okay, how many leads we get, how many actual, how many of those convert into surgery.
surgeries, how much profit we create, they back uh, reverse engineer it and say, okay, this is a good cost per lead for us. Now, if there was no concept of ad sets, they'll be confused that, okay, what should be our cost per lead uh, target or cap for this campaign? Because you have to set this in your campaign. In my case, for example, our average course is, let's say, $30, right? And our average digital product is, let's say, $9. Now, in my case, I might be uh, like, okay, for our digital uh, products uh, ad group, our cost per sale should be $5 maximum. But for courses, it can be up to $12, $13 as well. If there was no concept of ad groups, then I would have to choose a number in between. And it wouldn't make sense. Okay, always, uh, what's the problem? Why don't you have two separate campaigns for your uh, course sales campaign and you have a separate campaign for your uh, pro digital product sales campaign? And you can manage whatever bidding or ads or these things separately. Actually, that's a very difficult job to do because for if I create for every product, I create a different campaign, then I will have to decide, okay, how much budget I want to put on digital products, how much budget I want to put on courses. It might still look easy for me because I just have two types of products. But imagine um, like the hospitals who have hundreds of doctors they are running ads for. They have hundreds of departments, like tens of departments they are running ads for. Creating a separate campaign, then deciding how much budget should go to each campaign is not a good thing to do. It's easier to create ad sets for each of them, have a campaign level budget and say whichever is uh, generating more leads or sales, uh, spend more money there. So which is actually much, much easier to give you one more example. For example, food delivery apps for each big restaurant, they have a separate ad uh, ad group. Now, in their case, you'll be like create a new campaign. Then they'll have to create hundreds of campaigns for each of their restaurants because the number of ad groups they have in their campaigns is huge. So it will be very, very difficult logistically as well. So I hope that answers your question. And so this is like an overview now before we jump into the ad account. This is our overview, uh, how an ad account looks like. For example, in my case, we will have a Google Ads account, Senator it Viran Ads in there. I'll have two campaigns. This is just an example. Campaign one is search, campaign two is video. In search campaign, I have two ad groups, one for courses, one for templates. In courses, I'll have keywords like digital marketing courses, Google Ads course, Meta Ads course, DV360 course, meaning people searching for this these keywords, they should see ad from this particular ad group, which will be highly relevant for courses. Similarly, for templates, uh, we'll be having media plan template, strategy template, briefing form. Anybody looking for these keywords, they should see ad from this ad group, which will be highly targeted. And I can control bidding of these two ad groups separately as we discussed. Similarly, in our video campaign, there'll be uh, one ad group for courses, one for templates. And let's say, for example, courses will be targeted to students. As we have different keywords in search campaigns, in other types of campaigns, we have targeting in um, courses. Now, because this is a video campaign, so this ad group will have different targeting. In this one, I'll use targeting all the students should be targeted for courses. For example, templates, I'll target only agency owners because they are usually the people who buy uh, these templates. And similarly, I'll have dedicated ads for each of these ad groups. So I hope this is clear. It might still be confusing, but it's okay. You just have to get familiar with the concept of the structure, the concept of ad groups. When we create it, it will be very, very simple and you will understand, you will come back to this concept and understand. But this is very, very important thing to understand. And thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.